Hey everyone, it's Random Reviewer 16 here. Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iDevice using the website jailbreakme.com. Okay, right here I have an Apple iPad and it's running it's running firmware 3.2.1 and just to confirm, let me show it to you. Down there it says version 3.2.1. All right. So to start off, uh, we need to clear the Safari's cache history and cookies. To do that, go to your settings, tap on Safari, and then start clearing all this history. Say clear, cookies, clear it, and your cache. Clear it. And when you're done with that, go back to the home screen and turn it off. Then we're going to reboot the iPad by turning it off and turning it back on. So. I'm going to do that now, it's turning off, and I'll come back to you when the iPad is back on. Alright, so the Apple iPad has been rebooted, and we're going to slide to unlock and start Safari. And we're going to point our browser, and we're just going to start it up real quick. We're going to point our browser to the Jailbreak Me website, type it in. And there you have, you'll have this, you'll see the screen, and then all you have to do is slide to jailbreak. Just do that, and it will start downloading the content, and in a little bit install it by itself. So, this process will take two to three minutes. And it was very important that you clear the Safari's cache history and cookie so that uh, you most likely will, will not run into any problems. Uh, some people who didn't clear out the Safari stuff uh, ran into problems earlier on but I think this is the best way to do it so now it says to sit tight and it's doing its thing This is the best way to jailbreak on an iDevice using iOS, iOS 4 or um, iPads firmware 3.2.1. And there you have it. It says City has been added to the home screen. Have fun. And you just click OK. The process seems to be done. And I think we can hit the home screen. Oh, it's rebooting now. So it rebooted itself, hit the home screen, and we have to go through all this stuff. These are programs we had on it before when I synced. Here's Cydia. Click on it, and it will give you this initial greeting, user graphical only. And as you can see, it loaded Cydia pretty well, uh, properly. Everything seems to be there. And there you go. Just like that, you have a jailbroken eye device. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time on my next random review.